Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hi, this is Valder Beebe in Dallas, Texas. Hi. Thank you for joining me this morning, Tia Maori, and oh. I heard you brought a doctor with you. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to travel with a doctor. Right. Doctor, welcome. <laughs> well, well, we get to talk about your uh, a little bit of your personal life. My mm -hmm. audience loves you. They Aww. love what you do on your digital yeah. show. We Thank love you. seeing you on TV. Oh, but so we sweet. know that you're a mom also, too, and you're here to talk about peanut allergies. Yes. So um, I'm here to talk about peanut allergies. I'm excited to have actually partnered with DBV Technologies and to help launch the Talking Peanut Allergy campaign. Um, you know, I just want to ignite and to spark a uh, conversation about children and families, including myself, living with a peanut allergy. My son, Cree, um, was diagnosed with a peanut allergy at the age of three. He's seven years old now. Um, and, you know, I have to say, it's, it's been challenging. And we have our stressful times. Um, but, you know, I am not alone in this. My son's not alone in this. There's actually 1.5 million children diagnosed with a peanut allergy in the U.S. That's a huge number. So... If I can do anything to help encourage and just to bring awareness about the seriousness and the challenges of uh, children and families living with the peanut allergy, then, you know, I think it's really important. Well, let's, let me, let me, let's go to Dr. Jacqueline. Jack, Dr. Jacqueline, can you tell us, you know, medically what a peanut allergy is? I don't know if we really know. Sure. Well, peanut allergy is an abnormal immune response against something that should be totally harmless, right? It's food. But for some reason, the immune system decides to mount this response that ends up resulting in symptoms that can range from mild to severe to potentially life-threatening. So, you know, commonly we might see hives or reactions in the skin, but it can also cause vomiting. And then in the most severe forms, breathing problems and even loss of consciousness. So it's a potentially life-threatening chronic condition. How are, I'm going to ask you one more medical question. How do these individuals, how do you navigate through society with peanuts being in so many products? That's a great question, and I think this is where this campaign, I think, will be very mm -hmm. helpful to many, many people because it really takes a village. It takes a group of individuals who are looking out for these children, people who are checking labels. I mean, managing peanut allergy requires constant vigilance against consuming peanut-containing products, and there's always a risk of an accidental exposure. So we need to try to create environments that are safe, that are not free um, and to be sure to have emergency medications available to children in the unfortunate event that they might have an accidental reaction. Mm -hmm. Tia, you deal with this every day with your child. How do you protect your child from all of these uh, um, opportunities to, to be sick? Yes, I mean, I can only do my best. And, you know, we were talking about this earlier. Um, I worry about accidental exposure every single day. I only can do so much at the house, right, when my son's at home with me. But he's not with me all the time. He goes to school. He hangs out with his, you know, grandparents. Um, he has basketball games, et cetera. Um, so, you know, I worry a lot, and I have a lot of anxiety about it. Um, but that's something that a lot of parents deal with. Um, especially, you know, parents who have a, a child who has a peanut allergy. But again, I think just me talking about it, uh, bringing awareness 
about it. And not only that, I call them co-protectors. So even if if you even if you don't have a child with a peanut allergy, I think it's important for you to educate yourself and educate your children about the seriousness uh, of you know um, a child who who has a peanut allergy. Um, and I think the more we talk about it, uh, you know, the better. This campaign, what does it mean to you to be able to lend your face and your voice to it? I mean, it means a lot. Um, you know, a lot of people know me as an actress, an entrepreneur, and, you know, as a, you know, social media influencer. But if I can use that platform and bring awareness to, um, you know, uh, families and children dealing with a peanut allergy and, and families who don't have children with a peanut allergy, um, I feel like, you know, I'm doing my job. Um, so it's, it's very important for me to be a part of a campaign such as this to, you know, that that's basically all about awareness and to um, put a spotlight on it. Because as mentioned, there's 1.5 million children dealing with this and families. And that's a huge number. And it's pretty serious. And the more lives we can save and, you know, the more I can help families become less stressed about it, the better. That, those numbers you're talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, break down to one in 50 kids. And, that, and as you said, that number is incredible to mm-hmm. believe. When you are uh, part of this campaign, where can my audience find out more information? Because I know there are moms who are listening that can yes. so identify with this. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, you can go to TalkingPeanutAllergy.com. Okay. Let me ask you about your cookbook. You got a great cookbook mm-hmm. at my house. It's at my house. I <laughs> yeah. don't know where else, but it's Aww. at my house. And I do cook some things because I'm a healthy eater. Yes. I have allergies. Yes. Uh, I like good food. And your Aww. book is a number one New York Times bestseller Aww, from what I understand. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's actually number one in the um, endometriosis uh, department Um, because that's one of the main reasons why I decided to write this book, because I, you know, suffer from something called endometriosis, which is a highly inflammatory condition. And um, this book was just all about uh, creating recipes uh, with ingredients that, um, you know, don't cause, you know, inflammation within the body, but that are delicious and great. And also, too, for a healthy lifestyle. Yes. Because I cook quite a few things from it. Yes, yes. it is definitely a labor of love for me. I love to cook. Um, and if you watch my YouTube channel, you'll see that I am a nut in the kitchen. It's just I when do. I can just <laughs> completely be myself. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Do you have a favorite, like a, your favorite kind of recipe that you uh, that you make out of that? I like the vegetable recipes. Yes. I don't have a favorite, but like I love carrots. vegetables. Yeah, I do like exactly. this cool kind of carrot medley. It's really good. Well, we love you. We love you being an influencer. And Dr. Jacqueline, once again, my audience, what is the most thing they need to be aware of when they have children with peanut allergies? I think that the, the key message for your audience is to communicate with other people about this important issue. I think getting the word out People can learn from going to TalkingPeanutAllergy.com, which was sponsored by DBV Technologies. They can get a lot of helpful information, great resources there, and really to start to have conversations about what this means, about the challenges of families and children who have this condition, and what we can all do to try to create a safe environment for them. I want to thank you and Tia Mari for being my guest and talking about this topic. You know, you're talking about peanut allergies, but all of us with allergies, I think we can learn something and take something away from this. So thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.